who are you really? If you're anything like me, you're in the process of really rediscovering yourself. You've let go a lot of toxic traits that your old self used to do. You've gained a new mental perspective in life. You've gained clarity over what you need to do and how you need to do it. But you're just at a point in life to where you're in the crossroads. You're not your old self anymore, but you're not fully stepped into your new self. You're you're transitioning, to put it in simple terms. Now, I'm currently going through this phase myself, and I'm really just finding myself coming to the realization of I need to rediscover myself. I need to really pinpoint what this new version of me enjoys doing. The old me would have found going out, smoking, hanging around, not really doing nothing, playing video games all day, just slouching around, not really being productive. The old me would have found found that quite enjoyable. But now it's like, I just can't make myself do that. I'm currently like a month and six days sober. I haven't smoked in a month and six days. And I can say the clarity that I have in my mental is amazing. It's astonishing. I really feel like a new person. And I really know that I am a new person. I can feel it in my soul. I can feel it in my body. I know that something has changed. Something has changed to the point where... I put something that I was strongly addicted to down, just cold turkey. I'm transitioning, and now I have to rediscover myself. I have to rediscover this new me. I guess you can say this video is just me reaching out to other people to see if they're going through the same thing as I am, because I know I'm not the only one that's out here going through this journey, that's going through these phases. I know I'm not the only one that's out here elevating every day, reaching new consciousness and reaches new and reaching new conscious heights every day. Look back 10 months ago. You are not the same person as you were. You've I'm sure you've gone, grown and elevated significantly. I know for a fact that I can look back 10 months ago. I can look back at my old videos and see how much I've grown. I can see how much my mental health has grown. I can see how much physically I've grown and I am very proud of where I am today and I am proud of the progress that I've made today. Like every day I'm reaching new heights. Every day I'm gaining new perspectives. Every day I'm gaining new wisdom. Every day I'm gaining a new experience. And it's, it's amazing. So what I can tell y'all, for those who are on this journey, for those who are experiencing what I'm experiencing, let your old self go. Let that old version of you go, you know? Because that old version of you is going to try to resurface itself. It's going to try to stop you from reaching that highest version of yourself. It's going to try to stop you from reaching your abundance, reaching your highest peak consciousness is going to try to stop you from reaching your prosperity your victory because once you fully embody that highest version of yourself once you fully start implementing the highest action every day your abundance is going to come in your victory is going to come in everything that you've been working for everything that you've been craving is going to start Pouring in simply because you are embodying it. You're going to start vibrationally attracting it. And that's just what it is. Now, your old self is going to try to resurface itself. It's going to try to start bringing you down through temptation. Temptation is only a thought. Unless you bring it into being. Need I say that again? That temptation is only a thought unless you bring it into being, which means it literally needs you to even become a thing. Without the action that you put in, 
that temptation is that temptation is nothing, nothing. Now, you say you fall for the temptation one day. You know what I'm saying? You take your L. You know what I'm saying? Take your L. Take your L like a man because at the end of the day, it was your decision to fall for it. You know, take your L, but don't stay down. Take your L. Then the next day, wake up and go 10 times harder. Wake up and push and strive because you fell for the temptation yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Make that up for yourself. Make it up to your higher self. You know what I'm saying? And the next time you face with temptation, remember that time when you fell and remember how, remember how you felt when you fell. That's really going to help you beat that temptation. Because me personally, nah, I've, I, bro, I've been faced with temptation and I fell for it a couple times, a couple times. But did I stay down? No. Did I let that temptation keep me down? No. I learned my lesson, and that next time I was faced with temptation, I remember I was like, hmm. I remember how bad I felt when I fell for that the last time. I remember how I felt, and I do not want to feel like that again. So guess what? That thought helped me literally defeat the temptation because I don't want to feel how I felt the last time I fell for it. And the reason why your old self will try to resurface itself is because fear of the unknown you're in a crossroads. You're going somewhere that you've never been before. You're fearful of what will happen. Subconsciously, you're fearful. And that's just what it is. It's the fear of uncertainty. You're not sure where you're going to end up. You're not sure where you're going to come out at. You know what I'm saying? And that old version of you is trying to feed off of that fear. It's trying to feed off of that fear. And it, there's nothing you can to, there's nothing you can do to get rid of the fear. You just gotta face it. You know? Just face it. Face that uncomfortability. It's going to be uncomfortable. It is. But the thing is, you can't grow in comfortability. You can't. You cannot. It's impossible. You know? Just know. Just know that where you're going is better than where you are right now. Need I say that again? Where you're going is better than where you are right now. So keep grinding. Keep improving. Keep improving on your mental. Keep improving on your physical. Keep improving on your spiritual. Because that's that's literally only going to make your life better than what it is. Literally. If you're out here implementing actions that are better in your life every day, you need not be worried about where you're going to end up because literally if you're better in your life, the only thing that can really come to you is better. Now, if you're out here negative, negatively affecting your life every day, going back to your toxic habits, going back to your toxic traits, then you can worry about where you're going to end up because then you're attracting toxic outcomes, toxic energy. You feel me? This life, this life shit is all vibrational, man. So make sure you stand on top of yourself, man, for sure. And when you fall for that temptation, just don't let it keep you down. Because at the end of the day, we all human. We all in this human vessel. You feel me? Yes, we, we gods. We gods and goddesses, but we are still in the human vessel. And those human thought forms are going to come through all the time. You feel me? But it's up to you because everybody has free will at the end of the day. It's up to you if you let those thoughts become reality. Because you create your life and your actions create your life. Come on now. Come on now. Follow along. Follow along, man. For sure. It's your boy, Grateful Enemies, man. Ricky's Wisdom, man. I'm dropping wisdom every day. I'm dropping wisdom every time I upload, man, for sure. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Turn on that post notice so y'all can know when I upload, man. So y'all can know when that wisdom is being dropped. Bro, I've tried to record this video like two or three times. They obviously don't want me to get this video out. 
But I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep going. Facts, man. Peace and love, man. Y'all stay united. Peace.